The universe is massive and full of secrets. It's a never-ending space that goes way beyond what we can even imagine. It's chock full of billions of galaxies and each one has billions of stars, planets and heaps of other space stuff. But how will it all end? This question has stumped humans for as long as we've been looking up at the stars. This question has fascinated scientists and philosophers for ages, making them want to explore the cosmos and find answers. There are lots of theories but no one knows for sure. The universe keeps its secrets close to its chest. Some theories reckon it'll be a gradual cooling and expansion, where the universe keeps stretching and cooling over yonks. This would be a slow and peaceful end like the cosmic light slowly dimming. Other theories suggest a wild collapse where the universe might end in a massive, catastrophic bang. Imagine the universe caving in on itself with stars and galaxies getting swallowed up by black holes. There are even theories about a cycle of death and rebirth where the universe could be reborn from its own ashes. We're still figuring out how the universe will end, and new discoveries are always changing our theories. We base what we know on gravity and dark energy. Gravity pulls things together, forming stars, planets, and galaxies. Dark energy, on the other hand, pushes things apart, making the universe expand. These two forces are in a cosmic dance, a delicate balance that shapes the fate of everything we know. How they interact will determine the universe's destiny, whether it'll expand forever, collapse, or go through a cycle of rebirth. Trying to understand the universe's end is like going into the unknown, a journey that challenges our minds and imaginations. It pushes the limits of what we know, making us rethink our place in the cosmos. It's a journey that never fails to amaze us, reminding us of the beauty and mystery of the universe we live in. Dark energy is a mysterious force that makes up about 70% of the universe. We can't see it or touch it, but we know it's out there because of what it does to the universe. Dark energy is making the universe expand faster and faster. Imagine a balloon with dots drawn on it. As you blow up the balloon the dots move further away from each other. That's kind of what's happening in our universe. The galaxies are like the dots, and dark energy is like the air blowing up the balloon. Discovering dark energy totally changed how we see the universe. It gave us new ideas about how the universe might end. Will dark energy always be in charge? Or will gravity eventually take over? The answers to these questions will tell us the ultimate fate of the universe. The Big Freeze is a top theory about how the universe will end. In this scenario, the universe keeps expanding forever, stretching out into a never-ending empty space. As it expands, it also gets colder, losing the heat that once fueled the creation of stars and galaxies. Over a really really long time the universe becomes a cold and empty place, without the warmth and light it used to have. Imagine a pot of water bubbling away, full of energy and heat. As it cools down, the water molecules move slower and slower, losing their energy. Eventually they freeze in place, becoming solid and still. The big freeze suggests the universe might end up the same way, with everything slowing down and eventually stopping, galaxies will drift further away from each other becoming like lonely islands in the huge cosmic ocean. Stars will burn out one by one, the universe will become a dark and empty place, just a shadow of what it used to be. Even black holes, those massive things that gobble up everything in their path, will eventually disappear, losing their mass over time. This process, called Hawking radiation, takes an incredibly long time, way longer than the universe has existed so far. But in the Big Freeze scenario, even black holes eventually vanish, leaving nothing behind. The universe would reach a state of maximum entropy, where everything is as spread out and disordered as possible. This means everything would be evenly spread out, with no clumps of matter or energy left. We wouldn't be able to get any more energy because all the sources of energy would be gone. It would be the end of the line, a cold and empty end to the universe as we know it. The Big Freeze is a bit of a downer, but some theories give us a bit of hope. One of these theories is called Conformal Cyclic Cosmology, and it was thought up by a physicist named Roger Penrose. This theory says that the universe goes through cycles of expanding and contracting just like a beating heart. It expands and contracts over and over again. Conformal cyclic cosmology suggests that the universe might be doing the same thing. Each cycle starts with a big bang, and it ends with a big crunch. But this theory is still a bit out there, we haven't really seen any strong evidence for it yet. But it does make you wonder, 
What if the end of the universe isn't actually the end? What if it's just the start of something new? Section 5. The Higgs Field's Dance Vacuum Instability The Higgs Field is like an invisible energy field that's everywhere in space stretching across the entire universe. It's what gives particles mass, which is a really important property that basically defines how the physical world works. Back in 2012, scientists discovered the Higgs boson, which proved that this field exists. It was a huge deal in the world of physics. But there's a catch with the Higgs field. It might not be totally stable, and that's got scientists both curious and a bit worried. Imagine a ball perfectly balanced on top of a hill. It looks stable, but even a little nudge could send it rolling down, messing up its balance. The Higgs field might be like that ball, kind of wobbly and vulnerable to anything messing with it. It could be in what's called a metastable state, which is a fancy way of saying it's temporarily stable, but could change if the right thing happens. Even a tiny disturbance or fluctuation could make it shift to a lower energy state, and that would change the very fabric of reality. If the Higgs field were to decay, it could be really bad news for the universe. We're talking potentially the end of everything. It could create a bubble of what's called true vacuum that would expand rapidly. In this bubble, the Higgs field would be in a lower energy state. This bubble would zoom through the universe at the speed of light, destroying everything in its path. Talk about an unstoppable force. Now this is all theoretical, something scientists have thought up but haven't actually observed. But it shows how interconnected everything is in the universe, and how the fundamental forces that govern it are in a delicate balance. Section 6. Phantom Energy's Grip, The Big Rip Phantom energy is a hypothetical form of dark energy and it's thought to be even stronger and more destructive than regular dark energy. In the Big Rip scenario, phantom energy takes control of the universe's expansion and pushes it to the extreme. The expansion keeps speeding up, faster and faster. Imagine a piece of fabric being stretched. At first it stretches slowly but then it starts to rip. That's what the Big Rip is like. Phantom energy stretches the fabric of space-time so much that it eventually tears itself apart. If this happens, galaxies, stars, and even atoms would be ripped to shreds. The universe would end in a state of complete and utter destruction. It's a pretty violent and dramatic way for it all to end. Luckily, we haven't found any evidence that phantom energy actually exists. Section 7. The Big Crunch A Universe Collapsed The Big Crunch is another way the universe could end. In this scenario, gravity eventually beats dark energy. The universe's expansion slows down and then goes into reverse. Instead of expanding, it starts to shrink. It's like throwing a ball up in the air, it goes up, slows down, and then falls back down. The big crunch is like that, but on a much bigger scale. The universe expands, slows down, and then collapses back in on itself. As the universe shrinks, galaxies get closer and closer together. They crash into each other and merge. The cosmic background radiation, which is a faint glow left over from the Big Bang, gets stronger and heats up the universe. Eventually, all the matter and energy in the universe is squashed into a single point called a singularity. This singularity is a lot like what existed before the Big Bang. It's a point that's infinitely dense and hot. Section 8. A Cyclic Cosmos Death and Rebirth But the Big Crunch doesn't necessarily have to be the very end. Some theories suggest that another Big Bang could happen after the Big Crunch. This would create a cycle where the universe keeps expanding and contracting forever. Imagine a phoenix rising from the ashes. In this model, the universe dies and is reborn over and over again, just like that. Each cycle could be a lot like the one before it. Or each cycle could be totally different. It's a pretty cool idea, it gives us a sense of balance and continuity. But we have to remember that it's still just a theory. We don't have any solid proof that it's actually true. Section 9. The Unknowable Future. A Tapestry of Theories. These are just a few of the many ideas people have about how the universe will end. Each theory is based on what we know so far about physics and cosmology. Imagine a tapestry woven from lots of different threads. Each thread represents a different theory. Together they make a complex and beautiful picture, but the tapestry isn't finished yet. As we continue to explore the universe, we'll learn more and more. We'll improve our theories and come up with new ones. But the universe is full of surprises. It might have something totally unexpected in store for us. Section 10. Our place in the universe's timeline. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old. That's a really long time. But in the grand scheme of things, it's just a blink of an eye. 
Our planet Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. Life has been around on Earth for about 3.8 billion years, and humans have only been around for a tiny, tiny fraction of that time. We're pretty new to the universe, and yet we're able to think about these big questions. We can think about where the universe came from, how it's changed, and where it's going. Section 11. The Enduring Quest to Understand Our Cosmos The end of the universe is a big mystery, but it's a mystery that makes us want to explore, to learn, and to understand. Wanting to unravel the universe's secrets shows just how powerful human curiosity is. It's a journey that will keep inspiring us for generations to come. We might never know for sure how the universe will end, but that doesn't mean we should stop asking questions. The search for knowledge is just as important as finding the answers. By embracing the unknown, we open ourselves up to the wonders of the cosmos.